The Future of Humanity Institute is a research center at the University of Oxford. The Institute's main work contains deep diving and researching into questions that focuses on humanity and its future prospects. The Future of Humanity Institute was founded in 2005 by Nick Bostrom and his fellow colleagues, with names like the futurist Anders Sandberg, engineer K. Eric Drexler, economist Robin Hansen, and the founder of, Giving What We Can, Toby Ord. The Institute collaborates with the Center for Effective Altruism, which stated goal is to focus their research regarding developing the greatest positive difference possible to humanity in the long term. It engages and seeks out academic and outreach activities to promote discussions and initiate engagement in government, business, universities, and other organizations. Some of the Institute's biggest financiers in the are Elon Musk, the European Research Council, and the Future of Life Institute. When Nick Bostrom started the Future of Humanity Institute, in November 2005, it was part of the Oxford Martin School. The Institute hosted the Global Catastrophic Risks Conference between 2008 and 2010, and researchers at the Institute have been mentioned over 5,000 times in the media, and have also been involved in creating policy advice for the World Economic Forum and the World Health Organization, as well as for government bodies in Sweden, Singapore, Belgium, Great Britain, and the United States. The Future of Humanity Institute has been devoted to exploring and identifying global disaster risks, especially existential risks. In a statement by Nick Bostrom to a newspaper in 2002, he defined an existential risk as one where an adverse outcome would either wipe out intelligent life from Earth, or permanently and drastically restrict its potential. Also included here are, according to Bostrom, scenarios where humanity is not harmed directly, but for example fail to colonize space, or fail to use the observables in the universe's available resources to help and strengthen the human experience. The book Global Catastrophic Risks, written in 2008 by Bostrom and Milan Serkovics, addresses a variety of such risks, both natural and anthropogenic. Natural catastrophic hazards include supervolcanism, impact events, and energetic astronomical events, such as gamma rays, cosmic rays, solar flares, and supernovae. Lately, synthetic pandemics via weaponized biological agents have received more and more attention from Future of Humanity Institute. Of particular interest to the researchers at the Institute are climate change, nuclear warfare, molecular nanotechnology, and artificial intelligence. The researchers fully agree on, together with other risk reduction organizations, such as the Center of the Studio or Existential Risks, and the Machine Intelligence Research Institute, that the greatest future risks come from future technologies and advanced artificial intelligence. There is also a lot of research going on at the Future of Humanity Institute, regarding what technological progress will do to social and institutional risks, such as totalitarianism, automation-driven unemployment, and information risks. In 2020, senior researcher Toby Ord published his book, The Precipice, Existential Risk and the Future of Humanity, in which he claims that safeguarding the future of humanity is among the most important moral issues of our time. The researchers at the Future of Humanity Institute believe that showing the catastrophic risks the future can bring very well can be eliminated by both improving and upgrading people. The improvements can be anything from biological, digital, and sociological, where the emphasis lays rather on radical hypothesis changes than on the most likely short-term innovations. Research at the Institute is nowadays mainly focused on the potential implications of gene therapy, life extension, brain implants, and brain-computer interfaces, and mind uploading. The work deep dives into what different methods assesses and enhances human intelligence and rationality, and how to shape the speed and direction of both technological and social progress. By researching what these kinds of institutes are researching, is a must for anyone who is interested in knowing what the future might hold, and how we as humans, best can prepare and balance ourselves to what will probably be inevitable.